Thank you for joining this new episode of Cooking in the Mood. I'm your girl, Tasha, and today we are making Southern Shrimp Alfredo. <gasps> so delicious. Oh my goodness. Can't wait for you guys to try this. All of the ingredients needed will be listed in the comment section below. We are listening to Jill Scott's Cruising, and she really knows how to put you in the mood. We're also drinking some Southern sweet tea today to go with our Southern dish. I am wearing my Cooking in the Mood apron. There are different styles you can choose from, so when you have a minute, check out cookinginthemood.com where you can get your own apron. You can also customize them now so you can have whatever you want to say on the apron. So totally up to you, <clears throat> but they are so cute. Anywho, so let's get started with this dish. First thing we want to do is season our shrimp. And we are going to be adding a little seasoning salt, some McCormick's roasted garlic seasoning, some regular garlic powder, and a little black pepper. After we do that, we are going to take our hands and massage all these shrimp together. I am using about a pound to a pound and a half of large to jumbo size shrimp. And so we want to make sure that they all get some seasoning on them. We're going to set them aside and work on the base of our dish. So we're going to take some pancetta and we're going to add it to our skillet with a little olive oil and just start to crisp it up. We don't want it too hard, but just enough. We want to make sure that our temperature is on a medium setting. It's going to remain at that temperature throughout this entire process. So just know you don't have to fidget too much with your temperature setting. So we're going to take it to a certain point and then remove it. Um, you'll notice in the video, I'm going to give that sign like, okay, it's done, we're right here, let's start taking this out. And we'll remove it with a slotted spoon. Now we don't wanna lose any of that goodness, so we're going to add a pat of butter to the same skillet and begin adding our shrimp. And by the way, please don't put your butter in the skillet with a knife like I did, because if your mama catch you like she saw me, she gonna go off, cause she thought I was scratching her fan. Anyways, whatever. So yeah, after you um, add the butter, layer your shrimp, one single layer, don't overcrowd. And we're gonna start to watch it until we see those tails turn orange. The reason why I left the shrimp tails on the shrimp is because they carry a lot of flavor. For you pros, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I just love Jill Scott. Her voice is just so melodic and that is what Cooking in the Mood is all about. Just get in that right space where you just feel free to just be creative and do whatever. But make it taste good. So we're gonna start turning our shrimp over one at a time and if you take a look, they are doing very, very well. And again, we're not gonna cook them till they're all the way done because when we add them back to our sauce, they are going to continue to cook. So you'll get another sign here that says, this is good, we need to remove them and continue building our sauce. Take a look at those tails, the perfect orange color. The shrimp have a good color on them as well. It's time to remove these. We're gonna grab our slotted spoon, remove them, put them in a bowl, and leave all of that fawn and all of that sauce that we've been building so far. We're gonna leave that in that same skillet. Now that we have removed our shrimp, it is time to start our pasta. I don't have that on video, but just make your pasta to the desired instructions on the package. I am using a Papa Deli pasta, but please feel free to use your favorite, whether that is a spaghetti or a fettuccine, it will work just as well. As the pasta is boiling, we will work on our Alfredo sauce. So let's get started. Look at the amazing leftover farm that is in this pan. Let's go ahead and pour our jar of Alfredo sauce in there. I use Classico, but there are a lot of brands out there, so please use your favorite. If you notice, it is kind of thick coming out, and we don't want that, so we are going to thin this out just a little bit because it is just too thick. So we're going to take a quarter cup of chicken broth 
add it to the jar because there's a lot of goodness still left in there. Let's shake it up a bit and add that into the pan. Now that we've done that, we're gonna take our spoon and this spoon can also be found on cookinginthemood.com. Just a little plug. Um, we're gonna start to mix our jarred sauce along with the sauce that we've already begun developing, which is our butter, the leftover remnants from the pancetta, and also the shrimp. To give this some acidity, we're gonna take half of the lemon and we're gonna squeeze here. This will definitely brighten up the dish, but remind you that, hey, this is a shrimp alfredo. So we need that reminder and the lemon definitely does it. I'm gonna stir here and at this point I like to add a little heat. So I add some cayenne pepper, but you don't have to, but please feel free to add a couple of dashes of some black pepper. We're gonna stir here and it's time to add back those beautiful shrimp. This is the point where you want to let your shrimp fall in love with your sauce because it is a perfect marriage. So take your spoon or your spatula, whatever you're using, and just make sure each shrimp is completely covered with that beautiful, beautiful sauce. We're gonna now add back the pancetta. And that's the reason why I was saying when we were first dealing with each individual ingredient and we didn't wanna overcook it because we were going to be continuing to cook it and that's what we're doing at this point. So now, as we mesh all this together, stir it all together, let it incorporate and get some love, we're gonna to top this off with some chopped green onions. This gives it that mm, yumminess that I hope you enjoy. Now, if you don't like green onions, it's okay. It is still gonna be an amazing dish. Our pasta's ready. I'm gonna add that to our skillet. If you make the full box of pasta, which is usually a pound, don't add it all to the skillet. Add only half because you don't want your pasta to soak up all of your luxurious sauce. So you're gonna add about half of the pasta and just stir here and combine everything together. Guess what, it's time to eat. So in a bowl, you're gonna put your pasta with your shrimp, sprinkle some either dried parsley flakes or fresh parsley flakes, whatever you desire. Don't forget that house wine of the South, that Southern sweet tea. Or it don't have to be sweet, but it gotta be tea. Just kidding, have whatever you want, but definitely, definitely try this dish. I want to thank you for joining. I appreciate you taking the time to view this. Please don't forget to hit the like button or the subscribe button. There's gonna be more videos to come. And don't forget, check out cookinginthemood.com, the online store where you can find this apron plus all of the other styles that are available. You are able to customize them for a special gift. So again, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy this great meal and see you next time. Take my time